Hello everyone. So today we are going to see Spring Boot with MongoDB, and in that we'll see how can we save this if we have a requirement of storing the array, list, set, and map values in the MongoDB database. So here we can see here is our requirement to store the projects that is in the Spring array and company's name employee company's name that is in the list of string contact number in the set of long and card details here key value pair that is map so now let's go to the sts and here so i have already downloaded mongodb here what you have to do is go to the file go to the new go to the new and here we have to create string starter project then after that what you have to do is here it is taking some time here it come so now i will take spring boot with mongodb with some complex data type so i will keep this name spring boot mongodb click on next and here we have to choose the dependency this spring data mongodb and next we will require here is lombok and we have to click on finish so here you can see our project is created spring boot mongodb so next thing what you have to do is go to the application dot properties and here we have to give the database related stuff that is host so here we have to give localhost and what is the port number of your mongodb then what is the database database name you have to give and here i am using hibernate ddl auto as update that means hibernate will see whether the uh, database or collection is present in the mongodb or not if not present then it will create that right now after that what you have to do is you have to create a package so right from this go to the new go to the package first we will create one entity package next we will require is repository package uh, where is yes repo next we will require is service package go to the new go to the package and here i will use service and the last one is runner for testing this so class so we have to take package right click on this go to the new and go to the package here we will get ru double n r runner okay now uh, go to the entity go to the new go to the class here i will create one employee class and uh, yes now here at the right uh, let me check first of all here yes private integer id will take at, at the right id okay. private string name now here we will create string array to store the project's name of employee then next we'll take private list of a string so what are the company the employee works in and then private set of long then here we'll take a long set of long contact contact number so what is the point then private map and string comma string then card detail so these are the things we are going to save util chow dot util dot map here we have to annotate at the data so in order to create a get translator method all are constructed and one of the important is here we have to annotate with the and that document and we can give also the collection name according to you uh, using the here this collection name you have to provide here collection emp underscore info i will take so this is done control shift off yes id name project companies uh, if i go to the here id employee name projects company contact and card details right yes 
now next thing we have to create one repository so go to the repository go to the new go to the interface and here we'll create employee repo extends uh, what mongo mongo repository entity name employee and the data type here is integer control shift off now here we have to create one service method in order to save this so class we have to create employee management service class annotate with the add that service and here we'll take private employee repo repo and that also wired control shift o public uh, string save emp so here we have to take input as employee emp and we have to return emp with id emp dot uh, here we have to save with the help of repo dot save emp dot get save control shift to emp dot get id so we are using here a save method to save this uh, employee repo dot save after that we'll take id after saving that its return type is same employee object so employee with the given id is save we will print on the console now it's time to test go to the runner go to the new go to the class and here i will create test are you double n r runner which is uh, implementing clr command line runner right and here we have to annotate with that the right component otherwise it will not run and we have to uninstant method this also here private employee management service service and that auto wired right now what are the things we have to save in the employee that is id first so let's go here and first of all we we'll create string array codes equals to p1 comma p2 comma p3 then list of string of company so arrays as list here i will take c1 comma c2 comma c3 under shift o yes next is set so set of long contact detail equals to set of one one two two three three l three three four four five five l done then map of string comma string then card detail like other and pan map dot of key value pairs we have to give so a a d h a r other one one two two three three four four and pan a one a1 b2 yes now it's time to save so here we will create employee object employee emp equals to new employee control shift o employee emp right now we are new we'll take a random number so in order to save the id random dot under shift o for importing this next next int of thousand now employee name i will take at sam and next one is coach this array then company then contact detail then card detail let's save this so now our employee object is ready now it's time to save so sys out uh, and with the help of service dot save 
AMP, AMP is passed. Now it's time to test the application. Here we go. Database is new DB. And if I go to the MongoDB compass, here we can see there is no uh, database uh, new DB. So it will be created by this hibernate. So uh, test runner, we are saving this. So how this will be saved? the data will be saved like this like this you can say id this whatever the random number we can then employee name then projects in this way and companies then contact numbers then card details this is object pan and other like this so now let's test this so what i will do go here and press ctrl f11 click on spring boot application run as spring boot application so let us see here cmp the id 191 is saved now here we go earlier there was no database called new db if i go here and if i refresh here you will see new db if i go here if i refer, uh, go to the employee info and if i go to here and uh, if i expand this expand expand long yeah here we go name id project companies contact details and card details so this is a way we can save this project that is a released state map so if you like this video you can hit like button and subscribe to our channel so you will get the link of the course in the description